Hello everyone, welcome to episode 10 of Court of Swords. I don't have my lights on. Guys, we're back from, it's still the first stream back from TwitchCon. We're good. We got a lot of stuff to figure out. It's okay. I just hit that button. There we go. Thank, thank God they were still plugged in. Uh, is everyone's voice okay? Are we good voice-wise yeah. across the board? I don't know. Yeah. JP. I think everyone's good. Max, I'm, a little, I'm a little scratchy, but I'm fine. Sultry. Now it's the bigger fine. question, anyone's sick? Not yet. Not yet. It's Not all yet. working. It's under That's the surface. The though. Everyone is way. sick. 100%. We're all dying. I was really, really nervous when I got home yesterday because when I got into the uh, <laughs> cab yesterday morning to go to the airport with Lyric, he was really fucking sick. And mm. so... To be fair, I was he's in, like Bubble Boy, though. He never gets outside, so his immunity system has to be like... Maybe. I was, I was in a car for 30 minutes, though. Like, the window wasn't like... I might, I might get fucking sick, and I'm really nervous that I am. Like, it's anytime I dumb. sneeze, I'm, like, looking at the no. phlegm like I'm a fucking doctor. Like, is it clear or is it yellow? I don't know. Let's look, fucking try to figure this shit out and see if I'm sick. So, I hope I'm not sneeze sick Sneeze is yet. not bad. If you have that kind of flu, it's it's the ones where you're, like, you know, fevering and burning up, and yeah. your eyes are gunked together. Yeah. Your bones hurt. Yeah. Yeah, my bones always hurt. I'm, I'm old. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm I'm 30, the storms right? coming like that. He's like, wait. I'm halfway dead, normal. basically. Yeah, I'm halfway <laughs> dead at this point. Uh, let's go around and find out what everyone's been up to. I don't even know what to talk about because we were all at TwitchCon. We all just talked to each other all fucking weekend happened, long. Yeah. Uh, Max, I'll talk to you about your invitational performance because that was fun to watch. Woo! Yeah, you was, got uh, was... 11th the first game and 7th or 6th the second? I think I got 12th the first game. Okay. Uh, out of how many? And then out of 60. Uh, 65? I think. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the first one I got 12th, uh, just barely missed the, the money and then had six kills that game. And then the second one, I was ninth and I got like one kill because I was, I was, what was like the winning strategy? Cause people were talking about just hiding the whole time. Yeah. Just... Mine was like, I, I knew there was like better guns out there than me. Like, you know, people that have much more time, much better shot. I mean, I, I, I did a fair bit of practice and, and definitely improved on my shot and stuff, but I was like, okay, the only way I'm going to do any sort of good is if I just stay calm, like say, fuck everyone here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have out, to do that, man. Last game. last year when I played, like, that's all I thought about leading up into fucking TwitchCon. It was like, it was the worst. Like, I hated TwitchCon because I was so fucking nervous about that tournament. That's why I didn't play this year. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And so I, everyone that was leading it, I didn't really talk to anyone besides, I think, I think Lyric was saying he was pretty nervous. Uh, but that was all I like everyone else was just kind of not really talking too much about it leading into it I think they were trying to stay away from it, but yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah, no, I mean it's definitely a lot I mean max you like, got like what 4k for for eight. Yeah, or seven? About yeah. four thousand I mean with taxes probably like three whatever but sure, I don't care sure. money, money. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, my goal my only goal was to try to try to place top ten, you know try to win obviously But just see if you can get top ten at least in one of the games So I was able to do it and it's really first, good yeah, it's a unique experience when you're like when you kill people and you hear a crowd in the other hall going. <gasps> oh, you could hear them. You could hear the vibrations. Yeah, they're or... right next to each other. Yeah, they're only okay. separated by like you know like that big divider or whatever. Like you can hear the sound that goes through there. Yeah, plus the crowd, like you know just surrounding the the immediate. Dude, area where when like, when Ninja I jumped, it. Okay. well, when Ninja jumped off the bridge to kill you, I was like, oh, he's so he's so fucking. And then he killed him, and the crowd went fucking legit crazy. Because uh, you were right. that was like your sixth kill of the game or some yeah, shit. Yeah, that was my sixth one. Um. That was, yeah, that was a crazy moment. I knew it was, I had a feeling that it was Ninja. Because yeah. one, Ninja is one of the few people that pushes like that. Yeah. And two, I knew he was still alive. So I'm like, if this is Ninja, I hear him running. Like, this is Ninja. He's going to jump down and try some crazy Superman shit. And that's exactly what he did. So I was like, poised and ready. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. potatoed super hard. I, I potatoed a little bit. But, uh, you know, I, I had the AR and I think he was using the AK. So he just like potatoed and then I think panicked and just like went everywhere. Well, as soon as you as soon as you like engage in that stuff, I think anyone that that plays H one Z one knows. This, as soon as you engage in a fight, if the first two shots don't connect, you immediately get nervous because you know that you're either yeah. hoping that they fuck up like you just did, or know that you're going to die in the next two seconds. That that was actually my uh, that was that was one of the things I was working on too when I was playing because I like you said I, I I found myself whenever I got into a gunfight and I did miss the first few shots or if I potatoed a little bit I freaked out and kind of already gave up before the gunfight was over yeah a big part of that is just like teaching myself to like no just keep keep laying down fire doesn't matter until you know until it's done don't give up you know because a lot of times the other person does panic too 
And then if you can outlast them, you know, then you win, then you win the fight. I just, yeah. I love the idea of applying that, that strategy and tactics to an actual real life gunfight. Like imagine this, <laughs> like in a war, a bunch of guys come around the corner and they take a couple shots at each other. They miss. They're like, N- never mind. Well, just, I'll, wasn't I'll, it, I'll, maybe I'll just I'm, lie down here. We're maybe done. I'm making I'm this sorry. up, but wasn't, isn't, I, I remember reading or hearing, or maybe it was in a fucking movie, so it's complete bullshit. But in like the old Wild West duels, when it was like uh, two guys would draw the pistol and shoot, the mm. guy that shot first usually missed. Well, I mean, the reason the reason that those duels even existed, the reason that gunfights existed like that, was that you you legally it had to be that someone else drew their gun on you and you shot them in self defense. So you had to let them get the gun out of the holster and start pointing it at you, and then fire on them before so that they didn't kill you. So legally, you're like, Mitt shot him in self defense. He tried to shoot me first. Gotcha. Yeah. Cause I, I fucking I forget what. Maybe I'm just thinking about Wild West because I watched uh, I watched Westworld, which everyone should watch. Westworld, uh, the new HBO really, movie. You said Wild Wild West. Yeah, Wild Wild West. It's the really it's the new it. HBO show. Uh, Jeff, this show is like made for you. Like you should watch that show. It, it's uh, it. it how, looks really good. How do I even I like, HBO Go thing? So I'll do it. Yeah, how do I even pitch that? Sh- it you is. Saying, it's like sci-fi uh, meets West and. There's like this world, right, that they go to that's called Westworld, right? That's what it is. Yeah, it's basically a... And people are slowly realizing that they're constructs in this... Whoa! Kind of, yeah, something <laughs> kind of like that. That's a little that's spoiler. That's pitch, bro. How about this, Gassy? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a world where Kanye West is the emperor, and this is what happens. <laughs> maybe, maybe. we don't. Yeah, you don't really know too much about the outside world yet in the first episode. That's what somebody so. told me. That that's what it was about. Oh, oh wow. Sure. So so I'm spoil it for you, so now you're like, you know what? It's it's from an old seventies movie that uh, Michael Crichton uh, wrote back then and, and directed or maybe directed. Um, right, and it was it, the, the movie was about a theme park though, right? Yes, and this is yeah. I mean, this is basically a theme park, but yeah, mm-hmm. I, right. I think oh, I, I was got, reading. It's got Evan Rachel Wood in it. She's awesome. Yeah, the the wow. acting is for not like the acting is the best part of the show because it's people acting, but they're acting as if they're robots trying to be people. And they nice. nail that by like subtle animations when you go to like the first models of some of these robots and they're doing the thing where like the animation's not there yet. So they're moving in like small little sporadic stuff. And like that stuff is really fucking awesome to watch. Walking um, into a wall. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just small little, very subtle clues that if you could pick up on them after you see enough of the clues, like you start to think like, well, is that guy? Is that a real? Is is that a real person or is that a fucking robot? Like you don't really that know. Did you so. sneeze or was that like a glitch? Yeah, yeah. So right. it's good. The whole, the whole Cylon thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't want to give too much away because it's, it's also really gory and they don't shy away from nudity at all. Like there's a ton of fucking so, nudity. In well, it's H- HBO. Yeah, it's HBO. <laughs> no, but I'm so. saying like they're walking around in like a giant area and there's like 400 just nude bodies in front of you, just like yeah. of all sexes. It's not favoring one sex or or the other. Like just tons of dicks. Tons Listen, of man, I've, everywhere. I've been to Burning Man. I don't. I don't need any more of that shit. Yeah, yeah. So it's just watch a show. I hope I've sold it enough. I hope I've sold it enough. Uh, I'm watching. Really sold. Yeah, cool. Uh, what else? What Max? The the first person, the the guy that won the second one, inboxes. He got like sixty seven thousand dollars this weekend. Yeah, that dude. What? Uh, yeah. Pretty fucking well. <laughs> first place was forty k, Jeff. Yeah, first place for each game was forty k, and you got two shots to get first place. Yeah, he won the Imagine. second one, and he got like. Fourth or fifth, the the first one. Holy fuck! Yeah, fucking Seniors got seventh in the first one <laughs> by just hiding he, the he entire camped, time. He camped the entire fucking. He did game. absolutely nothing. Yeah, yeah that's we just cool about that. survival games, though. Which is no, which is totally a viable strategy. But I'm just saying, like he he literally got a Wookie suit, he got a sniper, had a clean shot on somebody a real long time, and didn't take it. Yeah, took like one shot, and then that was it. But he didn't even hit him. Like the commentators were like, "What are you doing? You have a sniper. Shoot yeah, him!" Yeah, we, yeah. It was that was a lot That's of fun to you, watch. You talk because there's typing in that game, right? I'd be like, "Yo, there I isn't typing in that game, game actually." Fuck. Unfortunately, never mind. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, normally if you're playing the game regularly, you can like talk, you know, in 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 like all chat or like you know, what I mean, like voice proximity mm-hmm. chat. You don't want to do that because then people know where you're at. Oh, he got second in the first game. Holy shit! That, okay, yeah, no, and, he made out real nice. Inboxes got a yeah. Okay, he did really well. Yeah, it's a good weekend for him. He's probably a big fan of TwitchCon. <laughs> you get, <laughs> you get tenth in that thing, last place. You get what was it, like twenty seven hundred bucks, yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, about. it was very yeah. front and heavy, but it's crazy. Fine, that's fine. It's good Not stuff. Not bad. Yeah, nothing to scoff at. 
Well, that's uh, that's the inv invitational. When are you streaming, Max? Because I, I think I think almost all streamers are excited to stream because of the whole Twitch Prime thing, but also because oh, they just want to talk about the TwitchCon experience. Yeah. So I'll be streaming. Uh, I'll be streaming probably a little bit after today's show, like a few hours after, just a little break or something. And then I was gonna do uh, the recap because they gave us our uh, our gameplays. So I was gonna go through game one, oh. game two, from my perspective. They were shadow um, playing them or something. Yeah. Yeah, they just gave us like little thumb drives that have. Yeah, I think it was like a shadow player or something like that. Oh, nice. Into the mind of Gas in Mexican. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that'll be fun. Go through the gameplay. Can you with that? title that stream appropriately and be like your eleventh and seventh place finisher? <laughs> <laughs> gas in Mexican hashtag gas or, or one of the best at yeah. TwitchCon. There you go. Yeah, Fantastic. it'll be fun. I'm excited to go through it, break it down, and just uh, talk about. I saw a little bit of last year's, like when Ninja was going through his, uh, you know, winning gameplay, and it's yeah. it's a neat thing to be able to like talk about, like, well, what was going through your mind during this part and right. whatever. And then after going through the footage of TwitchCon's, like the invitational stuff, I'll probably just play some invitational or invitational games, but play some H1 games. I'd slow it down too, just so that you can get everything covered. You know, I do the full, yeah. full playthrough, yeah. but slow it down, and I do your National Geographic voice the whole time too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And also do uh, do some like circles and X's like you know they do. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Some telegraph. If if you're running XSplit, that's actually a native uh, plugin. You could just oh, bring shit. up the Telestrator. Yeah. Yeah. I could put mm. it on the stream right now. I really break, gotta fucking uh, break X. dabble into XSplit again because I haven't touched that in a long time. Let's see here. Uh, Everyone was like ops. really CPU intensive way back when, so I, I switched over. It's kind of a lot but better. It's nice because now everything is. So see, it's well, like <laughs> it's true, yeah. and also computers have gotten better too. So. I just drew us a happy face on Jeff. You know, he's always oh, so shit. happy. Yeah. Let me good. see this. I want to see this. Where's this? I need to make the... <laughs> Look at that. 25 seconds. Cool. So you can see uh, Velomir fucked up right about here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when he stepped into those rocks. You know, exactly. we've, we've talked we've talked about doing something like that with with roleplay, like doing fight commentary. I mean, like that would be pretty funny. Pause, <laughs> pause the fight and be like, if you look at Gassy's face, you can tell he knows he just fucked up. <laughs> There's been some funny opportunities for that. We we, we got pretty frustrated with uh, at times with uh, with Jen in one of our campaigns because we'd constantly be like, shit. Yeah, the language. She's hitting the fan. She's like, all right, yeah. I'm I'm three buildings back, guys. I'm gonna. I'm going to go back there. They were talking about a magical beer or something like that. We're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yep. Those were the good old days. Those were the good old days. Uh, Dan's Gaming, Mr. Halloween himself here on Twitch. How's it going, sir? Good. How are you guys doing? Do, well, you're doing a lot better, man. Fucking 32,000 <laughs> viewers yesterday. You broke 500K yeah, man, I tuned in followers. For like you got... You got it was like 22 concurrence. Yeah, it's yeah. not because he's cosplaying as a pumpkin, is it? Do you think no. that's why, or is it? I think no? it's just a tradition on Twitch, man. I I love watch. I love being able to like tune in the middle of the night. It's like, all right, we got Dan playing horror games and yeah. fucking 6 a.m. No matter it's a what. Cool thing. Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. I got I got home. I right from <laughs> from the airport. I ran home and started streaming just for for a few hours and. Hmm. Yeah, just smashed my viewer record. It was I guess because no one else was on yet. And Congrats, it, man. Yeah. No, it's because you deserve it. Fuck those guys. Thank you. There you go. Uh, yeah. I would stream at that time, but I've been busy dressing as a clown and just terrorizing people in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is that <laughs> shit. <laughs> they Talk apparently I, it's actually happening. It's a thing. I There's know, a pandemic. A There's a clown. I saw pandemic. Seth Rogen uh, retweet someone. Th there was three clowns dressed up that were like masquerading in the middle of the night, and the police went over and talked to him, and they found like they had a shit ton of guns on them. So like it's getting yes. even scarier I now. It's getting oh, legit no, there's terrifying. There's reports of like a person, like to be really scary, their daughter was like watching TV and a clown just peered in through the window, you know, and like yeah, no, people take it's just going to happen, Whoa. by the way. Like that's, that's creepy that's and cool. Terrifying. Like, it's cool. Like there's people like, no, it's an art form. It's like, all right, this is trigger happy fucking America. Like there's going to be a dad who's like, Jesus Christ, boom, head <laughs> yeah. goes on. Yeah, you're not. And then it's going to end up being laugh, a 12 year old kid that read about this on Facebook, you know, and it's going to be horrible. So that's what's going to see. Happen. You see those those videos already of like um, you know people trying to do like prank videos where they like yes. they hide in a they hide in a closet in a store and they like jump out. Yes. There's always there's always one where they jump out at a dude who's just like fucking jacked. Yeah. and they're like Bleh, and they probably just guys gets his head caved. Those in. are my they're favorite. Like, oh, yeah, those are my favorite videos. Oh, that you're yep. Yeah, you deserve it at that point though. Don't try yeah. to fucking scare people totally. as a clown, man. That's fucked up. Yeah, oh, I, I hijacked you, Dan. By the way, but there's just people running around as clowns, so. <laughs> If I saw someone outside my window with a clown mask on, I'd shit my pants. Yeah. Like, 
That would terrify the fuck out yeah. of me. And they're not I'm like the happy fifth, I'm on the fifth store of an apartment building. Imagine my surprise. If yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hover, cl- hover clowns. Spider-Man, <laughs> why? <laughs> Honestly, though, that's that's one of the reasons why when I did live in an apartment building, I was on the third floor. Like, that's yeah. the one. It sucks with groceries and everything like that, for sure. But you don't have much fear about getting robbed. <laughs> <laughs> there are not clowns in your window. Good. Yeah. Fuck what are you playing, Dan? What's your horror game you're, you're starting off with? Uh, I, I yesterday I played the bunker. Uh, it's just came out. It's a full motion video game where it's yeah, yeah, that's video. cool. Yeah, it it was interesting. I was, I was watching you play that, and there's so many times where you would just start laughing hysterically because yeah. of the acting. Like the acting is good, <laughs> but it takes itself so seriously. It's yeah, so super serious. Funny. I saw uh, Amanda play a little bit of that, and it's it's really well done. But it yeah, like you said, it's like super on the nose. Like oh shit, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely wasn't very scary, but it's definitely uh, a disturbing kind of weird story. It, it was. It's worth the playthrough. It's only like a few hours long. You can squeeze it in any, in any stream. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, and then, did you have you even had time to make your full schedule? Because you're live for the next what's today? The fifth. Mm-hmm. Next twenty six days, twenty four hours a day with all your old vods and stuff. So, have you yeah, made I a still, schedule for all that? Still have to work all that out, but. Yeah, I, I just got home yesterday and I'm just been rush, rush, rush ever since. Yeah, yeah. I think that's that's kind of where I was for this show, but it's it's definitely not as much as all that stuff. But it seems like it's paying out. You're at like all time sub high. You got like four thousand subs in fucking three days or some shit. So yeah, it's <laughs> amazing. Twitch Prime, they're almost all Twitch Prime, which is just like been incredible for everyone on Twitch. Everyone's getting massive subbing. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I will say, uh, it's it's what Twitch dot Amazon dot com slash prime i think is the link mm-hmm. i think that's the link it's in the chat uh, if you just it's, it's right exclamation now. point free sub go to that link you literally get a free <laughs> amazon prime is free for the first month you just need a credit card you link it to your twitch and you get a free sub for anyone on the site so if you ever Amazing. dreamed of like subbing to your favorite streamer you can go do that right now i do really like the twitch prime uh little chat icon too just because i'm really partial to that kind of blue as well Oh, there you go. A neat little uh, badge. It's an amazing initiative. I think it's just an absolute grand slam out of the park hit by... It's a win-win for everyone. It's good for Amazon. Oh, it's yeah. Good. yeah. Good. I mean, it's we're fucking stuff. talking about Amazon Prime. Prime here. Like, we're mouth we're yeah. mouthpieces for Amazon yeah. now. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's it's nuts. It was like like Jeff Bezos just rode through TwitchCon on a white horse with a bag full of money, just throwing it to partners, being like, here, here you are. Here you go, Which, everyone. What's smart about two? in my opinion, like obviously, like I said, on all levels, but as someone that's had Amazon Prime for like two years now or whatever, you, mm-hmm. you won't go back. You, you, like once you ship stuff, you're like, oh wow, I didn't even know that was an option or I didn't know it was available to me. Yeah. Same day shipping. It's like, it's like actually insane and it's, yeah. it'll actually earn back any money that it costs at all within like two orders anyways. Yeah. That's why it's so smart. They're like, yes, let's get you in the door tasting that crack cocaine and people are like, you know what? I think I'll do this forever. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's I it's think I do like crack cocaine. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's insane because it it like for for Amazon the whole purpose is that it'll get people buying stuff they wouldn't necessarily otherwise buy from Amazon. Like I distinctly remember at one point during the summer being like, "Hmm, I need to get some sunscreen." There's a store two blocks from my house. I could walk over to it and I could get that. Or now, nah, fuck it, Amazon. Here it is. It'll be here tomorrow. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I, or if you're in like Seattle, it'll be there in a couple hours if you want. Yeah, yeah they have they have one day city. one day shipping in in Vancouver and Toronto now. So it if doesn't. You're in yeah a uh, version your city or just an area that has a decent population. They have different Amazon Prime Now distribution centers. Like me, yeah. I can get same same hour shipping on a lot yeah. of different stuff. Yeah, we I, ordered. Like I was gonna do a, a cast with my brother. When he was visiting, I'm like, shit, I need another pair of headphones. Surely they don't have the exact headphones that I'm wearing right now. Look it up and like, yep, I can order that. It'll yeah. be here in a minute. <laughs> That's <laughs> fantastic. I remember uh, last PAX Prime, we wanted to have alcohol show up to the drop frames panel. So we yeah. fucked two hours before. It's like, yeah, bring this bottle of tequila and four shot glasses <laughs> to <Well>. our panel. <laughs> to be fair for that, you could just use Twitter. But yeah, Amazon. Uh, Prime, yeah, it's yeah, that's true. That's, I mean, and you got to worry about like a clown showing up and bringing it to you. Is it laced? Yeah. With- hey, don't take it from a clown. Don't, never take anything from a clown. Anything. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ever. Especially, especially shit. Jokes aren't funny when you fuck up your words. <laughs> They can be. They can be. <laughs> they can still be funny. Speaking of bad jokes, JP, I'm going to put you on the spot. Was our roast better than the other one? 
Yeah, yes, you don't have, you're not you're not putting me. Out. Yeah, 100. Yeah. Did you see the other 100%. one? No, I didn't 100%. see. It. Dude, I'll say it's flat out 100. Dude, did the other? <laughs> oh my god! I was in the crowd, <laughs> losing my fucking mind because I was in a I was in a public space where I literally just wanted to pull my skin off. It was so fucking awful to watch how like the difference in preparation between you guys oh, and this group no. was just like miles apart like you guys were able to deliver jokes you had like comedic timing these guys were just like hey hey dp did you have fun at the courthouse earlier did did you get your kids back and i'm like what Whoa! you can't <laughs> you can't say that you can, and he didn't even deliver it well he just said a statement <laughs> I would say, I would say, and, and this is me speaking as somebody who's friends with a lot of people that were on the other roast, but like there was no like, like he said, comedic timing or like just comedic sense. Yeah. About your delivery or your joke. It was like, so da 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 da, because you're shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm literally quoting like, yeah. Previous, previous situations in which I profess to be your friend were false. Yeah. Like, like you know, was, you're usually kind of like with a joke, you like lead up, you, you, you know, you, you set it up and then there's like the punchline. This is like, yeah, you're bad at this because you're shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> there was so much, and and like, Which look, I, way, it was kind of funny because it was so like, yeah, I, I usually is. I want to set the record. You can make a joke about someone getting custody over their kids, right? But yeah, you can't yeah. say, "Hey, how was the courthouse today? Did you get custody of your two children?" That's not a joke. <laughs> That's a fucking question that you're just asking someone <laughs> in a public oh, space that God. looks terrible. <laughs> uh, there was there was a couple people where their entire thing was literally crickets, Jeff. I'm not shitting you. There was zero laughter for like a solid five minutes on a roast, and I wanted to fucking just <laughs> multiple I'm times a, just stand up and leave, but I didn't do it. Yeah, I and I get it though. Like, not a it's hard to do. Not everybody's a, a comedian, and not everybody like understands that kind of stuff. I'm gonna be honest. I was asked to go on that second roast. I'm like, it just sounds like it's gonna be. No. <laughs> like, yeah. I when Anna told me that, I was like, whoa. I mean, a good roast of Miss Fixin would be hard to pull off, like, uh, without coming off like a gigantic douchebag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was worried of coming off like a douchebag, too. I didn't know who else was going to get part of it and how, like, you know, the whole vibe of it was going to be. Um, there was a bunch of people on there that I was like, yeah, totally. We're going to just knock the shit out of the park, you know, like, we'll do it. Yeah. Because once you've had even just one person go up there and potentially bomb and like kind of create, especially the first person that goes up there. Right. Yeah. yeah. But again, like the subject matter and the person has to be, you know, as such where it's going to be pretty easy to, to like, you know, set up and loosen everybody up. Same thing with like comedy. Like if you, if you follow a really bad set, mm. yeah, it's like, just like, well, what the fuck do you have? Like, you know, like, yeah. So, so, uh, I can't remember who called <laughs> Zeke Carlos Mencia, though. Oh, my God. That was the best part. It was so good. (laughs) There's a lot of good jokes in the DJ. I can actually, like, say if you missed the DJ Wheat Roast, go and watch it because there was a lot of good one-liners. There was very good narrative jokes. Like, Adam uh, Contini's entire set was probably the best of the night. Actually, yeah. Yeah, like, it was so narrative-focused. And, like, he had callback jokes that were funny, funnier every time he would say them. Uh, it mm-hmm. was it was good stuff. I, I thought I feel like Jeff and I said this to a lot of people afterwards. I don't know if I said it to you. I feel mm. like you got picked on the most during that roast. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I could take it. Like there was multiple times where they would say something, and I'd look over at you, and you'd just be like, yeah, <laughs> just kind of like mouth watch. open, just like what? I didn't, what? There's other people here. <laughs> yeah. They just ripped on you a lot, so that was good stuff. That was good. Yeah, stuff. but most of the jokes were about how beautiful my wife was, and I was like, well. If you're gonna yeah. be fun for something, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rough luck. You're not as attractive as you're. Ah, yeah. Damn it. Good shit. There was definitely a Actually, lot of. The only regret I had though is like I got fired up because I wasn't even supposed to go. And after Zeke's Zeke lays into me about all that, I was like, I was like DP, I'm going next. By the way, he's like, okay. And then afterwards, I was like, fuck, because jokes just kept coming to me about because like the idea of Zeke making, anyways, in, in roast context, the ammunition I had available to me was sure through the roof that's what i I was sitting next to to sean day nine during all this and i was like i bet you i I, zeke is going first but i guarantee you jeff will get fired up the first joke about him and he'll want to go immediately then you stood up i was like see i told you i fucking told you i knew jeff was (laughs) gonna go dead right yeah so that's funny it was good stuff though i I thought the roast were good no i will say that it did go long yeah i got in trouble because it was it fucking was supposed to last an hour and it ended up lasting two two and a half almost 
We were supposed to go for five minutes, but I don't think anyone went five minutes. Everyone was at least 10, if not. I talked to Dan Paul afterwards and he was like, he's like, yeah, we got like, that wasn't supposed to go that long. Uh, He's like, we came up to him and said, don't worry, we don't have to worry about time at all. So I think everybody just didn't have like that, you know, that usual sense of like, oh shit, we have to fit into this time frame. Right. I think, I think the hypnotist or someone was supposed to go on afterwards originally, and then something he canceled or his time got changed or something like that. So there was no, there was nothing afterwards. And so you guys just kept on going to the middle of the night. Yeah. So yeah. it was good. Apart from that, Jeff, you have a good TwitchCon? Yeah, great TwitchCon. Uh, I mean, I, I know we've gone a little bit long, so I'll just keep it brief. But I think one of the highlights for me, one of the, I mean, it actually wasn't a highlight, but I just think it's funny to talk about now, was I did the Easy Bake Cookoff competition. Oh, which yeah. I, was, I missed that shit. I thought it'd be really funny because I thought it'd be people like baking cookies and I'd get to pretend to be, uh, you know, what's his name? God dang, I always blank on his name. Gordon Ramsay and just be like, you know, damn, this is terrible. You know, like just do funny shit like that. Yeah. But instead what happened was nobody knew how to use a goddamn easy bake oven. So they would put it in with like five minutes to go and what would come out is just liquid raw egg batter. Oh, wait, did you eat this shit? (laughs) And of course, the joke then is I'm not going to be a stickler and be like, well, I'm not eating this because I'll get sick. I was like, I'm eating that because I'll get sick. So five trays of just disgusting (laughs) liquid raw egg batter with Uh. like... There was one that had bacon in it. There was Uh. one that had... And you know, bacon makes a lot of things good. It doesn't make liquid cake good, guys. It doesn't make liquid cake good. Oh, man. So they put the camera right in my face. In all our faces, to be fair, there's two other judges as well. And we just we tried it. And it was just like, <laughs> um, and they're like, how do you feel? Like, this is terrible. And the other person's behind. They're just like, yeah, I know. Because it's for charity. So they don't give a fuck anyway. So it's, you know, like, it's just Jeez. money just coming in. Yeah. You know, it was funny. Uh, and I didn't get sick, as the joke would be. But it was very funny. That's gross. Because yeah, that's cooked with like a light bulb, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you need 20 minutes. They, some people gave it five or so because it's all timed. Fuck. It was pretty funny. Um, but otherwise, just great. Uh, this is my actual, This is my first TwitchCon. There's only been two, but I didn't go to the other one. But just it's awesome. Um, not even necessarily just for me. It was, it was awesome seeing how excited everyone else is about things and how uh, kind of indirectly proud I am of a lot of the Twitch community because a lot of those broadcasters – go out there and give their attention and energy and love to their viewers. And I, and of course that's the right thing to do, yeah. but what's right is seldom actually done. And a lot of these people really do that shit. And I think that's awesome. I think that's amazing. Like uh, very, very big streamers going out and just day in, day out, interacting with their audiences and, and giving back. And cause honestly, one of the things that could happen at TwitchCon is all those big streamers go and very justifiably are like, well, I'm really tired. I'll give it like a couple hours, but then I don't want to interact with people. And then there's these people that traveled across the country. They're like, I've been modding for you for four years. You know, I fucking love you. Can I sniff your hair? And then like, <laughs> they don't get to see you. And then that ruin. Yes, go ahead. It ruins their trip. Yeah. So I, I, I'm just proud. I, I, I think uh, there's a lot of great ambassadors out there. And a lot of you guys are on this very channel right now. And I'm just, I think it's pretty cool that people are representing gaming and, and their selves that way. It's good. Jeff, the best way I can think about it, and this won't work for a lot of people, but for me and you, it will. I think that being in the esports world, I thought there was only one day nine. It turns yeah. out like all of Twitch is basically just a bunch of day nines where they will stay fucking like two hours after their signing thing to just yep. sit there and talk with people and sign stuff. And I saw so many broadcasters they were pulled back into that back little area beside or behind the mean greets to just talk to fans and like sign stuff and, and basically yep. just be there. So it was, it was I really good to see that stuff. Dead on. Yeah. Dead on comparison. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Adam Coble, I saw you yeah, do dude. a lot of modding of panels. Like that's yeah. all you did all Saturday and, and Sunday. Pretty much. Yeah. All of, all of Saturday was just like running panels. Um, but I, I really like doing panels. I've been going to cons for, a long time now and it's like my favorite thing to do would you call yourself a con man adam yes yes i would (laughs) good thank you you. like (laughs) more of that to come adam don't you worry people people always people always ask me like people ask after the panels they're like oh like you're so you're so good at moderating these panels like how do you how do you keep everybody on track and like (laughs) get them to get them to keep focus but also like let them be funny and do stuff and i'm like fucking dungeons and dragons man (laughs) like that's all it is i'm just dungeon mastering these panels um so yeah it was it was fun it's super i'm sad i didn't get to see the lgbt one that was was that was that the dire straits yeah yeah Yeah, i watched that one really cool you guys did that that's awesome that was was that sunday no that was saturday saturday night yeah it's like right before the party 
Yeah, yeah. I remember I, I went we went back to the room just to fucking get out of like the con for an hour or two before going to uh to din dinner and I actually watched that entire panel. That was a great fucking panel. That was awesome stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was the one I was looking probably most forward to. Um but we did also, you know, we did the the big uh balance of power one, which that was panel sucked. Really don't, don't watch that panel. <laughs> <laughs> I I thought it was fun. There's Definitely, definitely. If you haven't seen it, go go watch it. If you're a fan of Balance of Power, there's a moment in there. Someone screen capped my reaction uh, where I, I asked the audience what team that they liked, and I was very surprised by the results. I don't know if that played on stream. What, they said they like light or something. No. So, well, Adam, if you want to, if you want to, yeah. That. So there's there's been this thing for Balance of Power the whole way through where I was, you know, we, we've been in JP had the two different emotes and like yeah. Team Empire and Team Rebels, and we, we got to a point of the panel where I was like, all right, you know, I, I have a pretty good idea about how the internet feels about this. Let's see in the room, you know, can I get a show of hands, everybody who's Team Team Light Side, Team Rebel, and nothing just like literally like i expected a few like oh, you know shy luke skywalkers yeah there was just like and then everybody was like no we just we like evil we yeah. like space not fascism. a single person raised no their one. hand <laughs> Jeff, okay so that's shocking i was gonna say i feel like that's been on the internet at least i feel like it's very clear that everyone likes the dark side more than the light side but the thing yeah, is was... is that the light side gets more viewership than the dark side what yeah really? yeah really that's why mm -hmm. I, that's why when it happened i was like Oh my God! Like, yeah, I really. The internet's so fucking weird. I was like, so I weird. That shit. I've been right. watching it six months. Yeah. Fuck it. You know. Yeah. It was weird. I think. I mean, maybe it might have something to do with uh, Coe's being on the light side will host, whereas Jesse Cox doesn't have much of a Twitch. Uh, I guess the same size of Twitch compared to his YouTube's. So maybe that's why. Um, but yeah, it was that was so weird when that happened during the panel where <laughs> not a single fucking person raised their hand in a crowd of probably. I don't know, 150 or 200. Well, I mean, what's funny about that person. is there's five people that were going to, but when they saw nobody raise their hand, they're like, right. Oh, right. <laughs> everyone, everyone looked well, around to be like, all right, that. who's doing it? And not a single person did. So <laughs> don't like him anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Adam, any, anything else of, of note? Because I, I think all individually we're going to be talking about TwitchCon a lot because we have so many stories yeah. from it. But yeah, 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 it's just been just been TwitchCon, man. Though you know what, I gotta say, I'm glad TwitchCon was the end of the like pummeling series of constant travel for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad I'm glad to have I've got like seven or eight whole weeks now where I can just like hang out and stream and do this stuff. And I, I know those feels. Watch that I got coming, uh, for a while, so it'll be exciting to just I've, yeah. I've yeah. been really looking forward to it. I think BlizzCon is the next time I'm traveling. So yep, same here. Europe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so we'll see when is blizzcon the first week of november i think <clears throat> the fifth it is it's the very beginning of november but the pre blizzcon tournament takes place the weekend before so that's mm. like last weekend of october gotcha yeah. yeah i think it's the which you guys won't go to that's that's online most <clears throat> i think it's the fifth through the eighth max i think <laughs> okay something like that or no fourth through the six or something like that yeah you're always a bitch unless you know like the ceo or some shit which i don't to what but. to get into yeah, yeah, because the tickets are so fucking expensive. D dude, it's you can just go sign up. Reach out to a community person, too. Like, well, just go sign up in the, the media thing and be like, yeah, I'm just going to make a video. And they'll be like, okay, here you go. Like, Yeah, I mean, I'll do that. If it's that easy, I'll just do that. Because, yeah. I mean, BlizzCon, I'm not as invested as a lot of people that are there. You know, I like, you know, Overwatch and a little bit of Hearthstone and stuff. But I never got super invested into WoW and all that. But mm. it's, it's, it's awesome, a really man. fun con. And, like, especially friend-wise, it's super fun to, like, hang out yeah. with everybody. So if I can do it, I'll come. But. It's kind of cool going to the cons where you're not as invested, to be honest with you, because then it's more that's chill and you actually get to experience it. Yeah. That's why I like it. Yeah. VidCon for me was that where I had time to just step back and be like, what in the fuck is this thing? Like, what is this monstrosity of teens yeah. and tweens everywhere around me? And why are so many fucking people here? I, I loved your that. tweets about that. It My God. Just, and then every video that was, came out, I'd, I'd see these famous YouTubers surrounded by 17 million 12 year olds. And I was like, I mean, it's the first, and I've said this spell times. Then we're gonna we're gonna play Danny. It's the yeah, first man. event uh, <laughs> that I've ever been to where no one was allowed into the Hilton Hotel unless you had a room there. They would check to see if you had a card, wow. and they also had security with every like featured person that was there. If you were a YouTuber that was on a, a panel or any like host or anything, you had a literal security guard attached to you everywhere you went, no matter what. It was like mandate. Not, not of oh. your own doing. They provided it for you. And it was for your own protection because people like fucking some big YouTuber would walk in a crowd and like one little girl would like their fucking Raptors or something would make a call 
and through like echolocation, all these other fucking <laughs> 13 year old women would just like, or 13 year old girls would just show up around this YouTuber and just fucking start trying to bite him. It was ridiculous. It was a crazy awesome. fucking event. So I hope we get to that stage because it, it's nice to just have a fucking giant guy next to you to protect you at any moment. It's, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Uh, let's play some D&D. We got to kill some guards. Oh, I'm yeah. Curious. I'm curious just before we right before we get started. I'm curious about if you made a, an infographic about number of minutes spent in the pre-show <laughs> as correlated with number of shows that Jeff is on. I wonder what the math would look like on that. I'm um, just out of pure curiosity. He's a talker. Swan right? <laughs> Song was 50 <laughs> episodes and each one of those was at least 30 minutes. That's where the 30 minute rule came from. Yep. And yeah. we broke we that like by talk. six. Talking's fine. You yeah. put Jeff, put Jeff and, and Wheat on the same show, and the pre-show gets real long. Huh? Yeah, I feel bad for yeah. John because he's gonna be fucked. He's gonna be like, guys, we're gonna play. Man, Jeff, nope. did you hear about? <laughs> <laughs> did you watch Westworld last week? Let's talk about it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. How do you yell at Wheat because he'll recommend some terrible movie that he likes? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah yep. that's fair. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. No, it's good. It's good warm up. Uh, cool. All right. So yeah, let's let's talk about uh, let's talk about the game. Let's play some Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so in the previous episode, we uh, we met our new uh, our new cast of characters, um, and uh, we got to see them take on some giant spiders and some little albino goblin dudes uh, on a mission for uh, for the Court of Swords and. Um, yeah, you just you just completed that. You've discovered uh, this scroll in what became uh, clear that it was a, a tomb of some some monk from hundreds of years back. And the scroll depicts sort of life in a monastery in the Shulin Valley, which is, as we know, a contested region between the Court of Coins and the Court of Swords, and why you're here in the first place. Um, and this scroll, while useful and interesting as a historical artifact, uh, also can serve as legal precedent that the Court of Coins had a settlement here uh, before the Court of Swords showed up. So it's going to be of, of significant value to either side. And post escape from the uh, the spider cave, uh, yeah, you ran into some uh, some guards. Uh, they're part of the um, sort of local Court of Coins like police force because, again, as a part of the detente between the two courts, you can't have like military forces in the valley. Um, but obviously the, the villages are allowed to have their own defense force. So these guys must come from some nearby village. And whether they tracked you here or are here for some other reason, um, they're, they're now uh, not very pleased because you seem to be uh, foreign tomb robbers and uh, they, they would like you to uh, turn over uh, whatever it is that you found. So I think... Uh, Adam Izzel. Yeah, yeah, hit me. Is it possible here? Now, remember, I was finagling myself to get behind this rock for maybe, I don't know, just to give it a name, three-fourths cover. And uh, <laughs> just, I'd, like to, I'd like to take the much vaunted action that I've never been successfully able to do with any of my DMs and take a shot before initiative. Uh, I mean, that's what initiative is for, man. That's why it exists. Can I roll an independent in initiative for myself? What? As opposed to what? Like you just would like to? Well, you know what? Room, you know what? Functionally, how are we going to do this? Like, I, cool. I like Gassy, Gassy, Dan, JP, y'all, y'all take take the rest of the show off. I guess Jeff just wants to play with me today. So, uh, hey. <laughs> just worst ways to spend your afternoon. Adam, don't look at any of these other people. It's just you and me. <laughs> you know what? Look at me. Look at me. I'll take Over a here. bonus to initiative because I got the plan of getting the drop on these guys. That's that's very specifically what initiative. There's there's this thing called the surprise round, which yeah. if you were hidden, uh, that that would be fine. If you had snuck out of the cave, but you you were you were talking, you were being your, you know, usual uh, conversational Agreed. self. Um, and then they were ready. They were watching the cave. So the the option for a surprise round is not uh, okay. possible. You do I have Jeff. Well, if happen. if Gassy can pull off a surprise shot, you're gonna get yours soon, Jeff. I guarantee. Someday it. it's the dream, yeah. uh, but I do walk behind the rock. Then how about that? I'm still making my way over there. As you're talking, I remember you were walking towards the rock. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. that's fine. You're you're, you're in transit. Um, you, if you want to be standing behind the rock, you can be there. I'll I'll, I'll let you have cover at the beginning yeah. of the round. Certainly. Now, um, what 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 were the words like? How did the conversation? Yeah, end? what was I was going to ask that? What was the last things uttered? Um, so I was trying I, to convince I, them that we killed monsters and they should uh, they don't necessarily need to give us thanks. I think literally he right. was like, I'm sure we can work something out. Like, and then there was like a glint of his like tooth, right? 
Yeah, no, oh, we yeah, hadn't. Too, yeah, too. we hadn't made a we hadn't made a uh, any kind of social like role uh, yet. But yeah, uh, Janice was kind of being like, yeah, we we just cleared out these monsters, and um, yeah, don't worry about it, everything's fine. Um, but the uh, the guard, uh, the officer, uh, was looking for some uh, some some additional uh, recompense or uh, for you to come with him back to the the town. So yeah, I think that's what we we cut in on, right? Is the the sort of smiling face of this officer? He's got his little like diamond uh, his diamond tooth. And uh, yeah, he has has his hands out, sort of in. Oh, sort okay, of diamond, dude. We're killing that dude and taking his tooth. Yeah, probably. yeah, it's probably worth something uh, if you yank it out of there. Uh, yeah, so he's he's basically like he's he's got his guards with him. They all have crossbows. He's got a scimitar, and uh, yeah, and he's he's saying we we fade in on him uh, him saying um, as I'm sure you know, tomb robbing is illegal in this valley, and if you found anything of value you would be required to turn it over to us as rightful authorities. And as he's speaking, he's, he's looking you over to see if anyone's carrying like a treasure chest or like a bag or whatever. I mean, um, he's I, definitely like <laughs> eyeballing the situation. I think as he says that, maybe I like push the giant bag of gems and silver and gold and all that stuff to like <laughs> behind my back. I'm just like, didn't find anything in there. Just a cave full of a bunch of spiders. You wouldn't believe it. Yeah. Where are we? territory that they're not supposed to have military in yes yeah so these these guys um you can tell by the by the way that they're dressed um they're not uh they don't seem to be military like they're they're armed and armored but they're um i mean i guess that's a good question so how how familiar is uh ramus with the the court of coins um would you be able to tell the difference between a cop and a, a military officer i i'm not sure uh Okay, well, if yeah, I mean, if it's not something that you you know about, let's uh let's have you roll, make a um. History roll because it's not it's not about whether you can perceive something; it's whether you have context for it. Um, mm -hmm. Let me take a look at your character sheet and see if there's a better. I think history is the one. History. Yeah, let's do history because there's no like culture. Twenty two. Oh yeah, twenty two. Damn, bro. <laughs> uh, cool. All right, so yeah, you can you can definitely tell that these guys are um, like. They're not, they're not militia. They're like low grade, uh, like village protectors. They're basically cops. Um, they, they most likely come from, uh, one of the, uh, one of the nearby, uh, villages. There are a few villages in the, in the Shulin Valley. It's big enough to sustain a few, uh, a few different, uh, uh, settlements and, uh, yeah, Peaceful Spring is the closest one, so that's probably where these guys come from. And uh, the dude, uh, you notice that he is both wearing the the raiment of a like a police officer. He's probably a corporal or something. Um, and also, he has um, uh, like a clasp on his cloak that is in the um, the shape of the uh, the holy symbol of the hierophant. So he's a member of their clergy or a, or a monk or something, as well as being uh, an officer of the law. Uh, his men are just like low grade kind of like cops essentially um and uh yeah they're a little far from from the village right normally they just kind of patrol around town so why they're out here they're again either they followed you or someone tipped them off that there were some tomb robbers in the area i'm I was like, like I was out here officer and he uh yeah he, he looks at you and, and kind of scowls and and he says um this whole forest is under our jurisdiction. Someone mentioned they saw some unusual folk. I thought these travelers must be lost. We should go and find them. The forest is very dangerous at night. Yes, indeed. It is very dangerous <laughs> for officers who tra travel too far from their towns. And the, the, the guards behind, uh, behind this officer are um, like kind of eyeing each other nervously, um, especially they're looking at um, Wester, like expecting him to do something maybe. Like he's got their attention despite not being the one talking. Wester's staring them dead in the eyes. Nice. Uh, do you wanna, Wester, do you want to try to intimidate them? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I just feel like, you know, I'll be like, you're not Wester. It would be easier for all of us if, you know, we just went our separate ways and forget what we saw here. We're all in the wrong here, right? He, uh, he, he shakes his head and, uh, and he says, um, yeah, he's like, no, no, I think you're mistaken, priests. As for who's in the wrong, uh, if you would allow us to examine your gear, 
I wouldn't want you accidentally taking any contraband out of that cave. Important archaeological site, you see. Why don't you bring your bags over here and we'll take a look. <laughs> Mister now focuses his attention on them. If you value keeping your hands, you won't get anywhere near me. And the, the you notice the guy on the on the sort of far left behind the rock, like he it's like trembling a little. You hear his like crossbow like click against the, the stone he's kinda leaned on. I mean What's it's obvious it's you men seem a little scared. Uh yeah, and, and the, the officer uh he looks he looks at you for a second, his eyes just sort of flick to you, Wester, and then he looks back to Ramus. And Ramus, are you are you standing behind Wester? Like are you where your where your token is or are you standing up front? Right behind Wester, just <laughs> Slightly peeking around him because <laughs> right. I'm mean, more intimidating than I am, and, and plus he could th- he could take a, an arrow if, if they shoot one from, from me. Yeah, so he he says to to you he ignores you, Wester. Like he talks to to Ramus, and he says, um, <clears throat> "It's no, it's unusual for us to see a creature of this size. Usually, they are attacking the farmlands. They probably think he's some kind of demon." Perhaps they are right. I would be very careful of that. You, my big friend here, has a short temper. You wouldn't want him to get upset. So the uh, the officer uh, he he takes a, a step forward. Um, you know, still keeping keeping range from you, but takes a step forward and and puts one hand on the the hilt of his uh, scimitar, puts his hand out to you, Ramus, and, and says. Um, why don't you come over here, bring what you found. Uh, I'm sure we can work all of this out without, and he looks at Wester, kind of sneers, any more unpleasantness? Adam, to try and set this up uh, mechanically then, yep. if their attention keeps being on them, and I'm sure someone's looking at me, I'm not trying to argue for that, but I'm mm-hmm. going to have my hand sneak towards my short bow and I- try to make it. Yeah, be like readying a shot. I also want to, if they're just focusing on them too, I'm just going to kind of like slowly start like walking towards this direction. Mm-hmm. Trying to get behind cover somewhere. <laughs> instead of just picking the open. Like I haven't Good. said a single thing and I've just been kind of like looking at him. Maybe I like leaned in and was like, he's being racist towards you. And then I'll just kind of like look around <laughs> and start walking off towards the other side. <laughs> so like you it. tell me if that mechanically how that role goes as well. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I don't think, um, Janice, why don't you make a stealth, make a stealth roll to see, uh, I'll make a <laughs> perception roll at disadvantage for them. Um, because they're distracted by, uh, by Wester, but to notice if I'm grabbing my bow. Yeah. Just to notice that you're, you're like knocking an arrow and kind of like getting ready for future trouble. What was the role you said? Per- uh, just make a stealth roll. Stealth roll. Okay. Yeah. And then they'll, they'll make a perception against you. Okay. So 13, um, <laughs> make this. Perception with disadvantage. Oh yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> they, Wait, is that is that for the group? Uh, yeah, this is for the guards. They, oh. it's it's for the guards to not notice um, Janice. So so oh, you're God. you're essentially like you're hidden now. Um, they they lose track of you completely. So if you want to just be hidden behind the rock, uh, you. So I get my sneak attack then. Yeah. So so you're in stealth now, um, which means if you choose to attack, uh, then uh, you get your surprise round. You, you've now set up for that. Okay shooting before initiative. Do I what need- I would say that Adam, and this is pretty much how he would do it then, as he's like reaching for his bow and he just starts to really notice that no one's paying attention, kind of like his eyes go a little bit wide, pulls the arrow out, notches it, and I'm going to take my sharpshooter shot at the leader. Okay, all right. So you want to do the, the minus five. Uh, you have advantage because you're attacking from, uh, from stealth. Before he makes this action, do I get any... How, how far do I get as well as they're paying attention to the other um, you, What's your movement, 30? Yeah. Yeah, you can be anywhere within 30 feet of your, your starting position. Okay. I will walk basically like right here, right behind uh, Jan- uh, Janus. Is that what we decided on? Janus? Janus? We Janus? Janus. Janus. Okay, right behind Janus there. Okay. All right, uh, so like back here. If you want to take cover behind that rock, you can. Basically, like all of the terrain features here, all the the logs and stuff in the trees, you can hide behind them. Um, so if if you want to stay where where you are right now, that yeah. that'll give you cover. I, I'm kind of just like lying down on the ground, <laughs> completely <laughs> flat, just waiting for something to happen. Awesome. Okay. Uh, all right. Cool. So uh, go ahead and take that take that shot then. Um, just hit the short bow, and it just we use the advantage roll. 
Yeah, so you 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 roll on uh, use the short bow, uh, subtract five from from either roll, but you'll use the highest of the two. Nope. Ooh. Okay. Damn it. All right. So you uh, you you lose your your stealth. Uh, you take the shot, and it yeah it goes it goes wide, and um, there's a there's a second of of like disappointment that sort of flashes over the the officer's face, uh, and then Ian some like regional dialect he like barks an order and uh the the men spur to action so let's let's all roll initiative to see in what order that occurs the same look of disappointment on my face too <laughs> like pouring over his head i'm like make sure you click your uh avatar when you roll that was a warning shot <laughs> <laughs> exactly maybe yeah when he stands when he takes a shot i just stand and be like who just shot at us where'd that come from <laughs> did you guys see that <laughs> Wow, every, everybody is rolling so oh, good. Well, I got a 21 on initiative. Jeff rolled well. It's pretty good. Yeah. So you'll get a second shot. You just aren't in stealth anymore. Yeah, it's fun. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, the difference between Janice and Gideon is, like, significant. So, Janice, you take a shot in, like, five minutes pass before Gideon goes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So yeah, with a with a, a twenty one, uh, you can you can definitely take another shot, or you can move. Basically, you can yeah. take a full combat turn. So what do you want to do? Uh, I'll be in cover, and I just take an, I just notch another arrow and twenty three. Okay. Uh, oh man. Yep, that one hits. Yeah. Uh, now this and this Jeff, one isn't. A, you said you roll a, a you roll a sharpshooter there, right? You said that before you rolled, right? No, no. not this God one. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the. Uh, <laughs> we'll get one over on Adam. We still got like four or five weeks, Jeff. We'll get one over on Adam. Don't worry. <laughs> you got All right. Yeah. So you deal you deal him eight damage. Uh, so you, you fire an arrow and it, it it thunks hard through the the pieces of his armor. Uh, he grabs the the shaft and like staggers back. And uh, his 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 shouts of sort of bored annoyance uh, turn to uh, like anger. And you can he, you can hear a tinge of fear uh, in his voice as he shouts for his men to like like kill you essentially. Um, Gideon, what do you want to do? Um, <clears throat> let me look at something. How do I, okay, I guess I could just use the ruler. So that's 20 feet. Wait, am I really, holy shit, I'm second with a nine? God damn. Right? It's yeah, a we're, huge We're gap. fucking Everybody awful. Shit <laughs> uh, Everyone claps for a little while, like, good shot. <laughs> and then like a, two minutes later, pass, like, now I do something. Yeah, <laughs> 20 foot square, so 20 um all right i want to cast entangle and uh let me mark all this out i'll just draw the line with oh that's the wrong tool right here i think this is going to be 20. how uh how big on a side is it uh, it's a 20, 20 foot cross? square starting from a point within range there you go yeah so you want to drop it there yeah 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 Okay. Uh, and I'll cast the spell so you can see the. Uh, let me see. That's I think that's twenty five. So that's that's twenty. So you can catch two of them, or you can catch. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere you can get off what? more than. What right here? Look, that's twenty more. across. I think that needs to be a little bit bigger. Well, that's that's twenty across diagonally. Uh, this is twenty on a side, right? Like a twenty. Twenty. Foot. Twenty. Four squares. Uh, oh, if okay, I, I guess I see what you're saying. It's yeah, okay. From edge to edge, it, yeah, it so it's four squares. four squares. Okay. Uh, well, can I? What about here? One, two, three, four. Yeah. I guess just get, yeah, right there. That'll be fine. There? Okay. Yeah. 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 Nope. Okay. Um, and in what does that do that again? Uh, read the, read the. Oh, it's yeah. entangled. So, okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, all right, so they need to make, uh, let's see, a strength saving throw or be restrained by the entangling plants. Creature restrained can make a strength check to uh, free themselves. And if you are restrained, uh, I think the condition gives uh, advantage on anyone that attacks you. Uh, creature speed becomes zero, can't benefit from bonus to speed. Attack rolls have advantage. Their attack rolls have disadvantage. And they have a uh, disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Okay. So let's make that save. I uh, got to make one for the uh, for the officer and one for uh, one for the guy next to him. So officer first, um, strength save. Uh, yeah, I think he got it because um, your saving throw difficulty is thirteen, right? Uh, spell save DC is. 12? 12. Okay. Yeah. Either way. So he's okay. He's not entangled. 
And then the other dude, um, he's got a strength save of 15. Well, okay, I so tried, now, guys. Good luck. Have fun with the fight. <laughs> neither, of them, neither of them are restrained. Um, and uh, let's see, a creature in the area when you cast it. Okay, so people can move through that area. So you you can conjure up all these plants, and they, I mean, just what does the spell look like? So do you, well, do you I just think, like I think have if them I'm, grow or do they appear magically? I think if I'm on the ground, I basically just like make a little hole uh and then like probably i i would just spit into the hole and then close it up and then like maybe pat it and then you just see the the vines kind of start to form there but then they form underneath the guys as well right so they kind of like go under the ground from you to the space and then right spring right up. janice cool. will probably see like the the ground kind of like not rumbling but some of the dirt and stuff would kick up from uh from me to them as then it just appears and tries to grab these guys legs Cool. Yeah. So they, they like pull themselves free, like break the, uh, uh, break the vines that start to, to grab at them. And then the vines magical growth stops and they, they stay in the area, but they, the two uh, guards are free of them. Um, do you want to move or do anything else? Do you want to stay where you are? Um, I'm still in cover, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll like make sure I'm not laying prone. So I'll stand up and, and overlook the rock with uh, kind of like hunched over basically. What's okay, that? good. Yeah, so you stay down next to, to Janice. Uh, Wester, it is your uh, your turn. What would you like to do? Is there any cover to be handled by these things? Are they not big enough, like here and here? And uh, yeah, yeah. Basically, any of the any of the objects in this area will give half half cover. Um, the bigger stuff will give uh, give more, um, but uh, for the most part, yeah, it's half. Okay. Um, Wester's going to move to. Let's see. I guess right behind here. That can I be here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can move over there. You want to and uh, fling a crossbow bolt at this guy. Okay, sure. All right, so you you dash over there, pull out your crossbow, which means you don't have your shield, uh, oh. and then fire your crossbow. Okay. Just to start things off, doesn't make sense to be the only one with a bunch of guys that can surround him. So I mean, Ramus mm -hmm. is about to be fucking human pincushion, so there's that. It's <laughs> it's true. Yeah, Ramus is the only one that doesn't have cover when they go. So. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Ramus. <laughs> I want to check out my sleeve, though. It's all right. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. I'm just going to fling a crossbow bolt or arrow, whatever the fuck. Whoop. Uh, I can't see it. Did I do good? No, 13. I didn't. You got a 13. So you, yeah, you miss. Um, again, this guy's heavily armored, so you, you fired him, and the arrow bounces off his armor. Sure. He uh, tried. You did. It's true. Uh, okay. Thing working for us. So the uh, the four officers, uh, there's an exchange basically where where Officer Lin is shouting at them like K kill him, and he, he points at uh, Ramus, and one of the guards is like, but sir, he's a priest, and uh, and Lin is like, I don't care if he's a priest, kill him, and they they're like, uh, no shit, and they they start shooting at you. Um, this guy is gonna move first, I think. Let's see. Okay, he's gonna move over here behind this tree. He takes cover, and then this guy. Uh, same thing. He's gonna fall back and take cover behind this rock. Uh, whatever is the first uh, shot, I'm going to use warding flare to give him disadvantage on the attack. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so let's do that. So the first, uh, the first guard uh, is gonna fire his crossbow. One second here. How much damage does a crossbow do? Anybody have that handy? D8. I think. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thanks. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> D4, right? Do what? Yeah. You meant a D4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D4, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Me. All right, so the first shot, uh, and this one has disadvantage. Uh, okay, so 13. That's and nice. then the three uh, subsequent shots. One. Did they all shoot at him? Two. Dean, miss. And three, I think they yeah, all. Yeah, twenty-two is probably a miss. Okay, yeah. so all, all but that last one uh, miss. So there's a, a bright flash as the first crossbow. Uh, now, what, is, what does that look like? Is it like a shield, or do you like flare him in the face so he can't see? What does like, that? I don't like? think so, buddy. Giant uh, spark of just blinding light splashes right in front of someone's face. Uh, mm. and <laughs> drops it out. Eyes and just gives you. I'd like to think it was your hand somehow reaching across, just like pimp slap. <laughs> but they take the oh, shot. Hey, like, oh. yeah. yeah. So we we see him. We see him raise his crossbow, and he, he closes one eye, gets ready to fire, 
And right before he pulls the trigger, this bright flash in his eyes, we see his, uh, his pupils suddenly like, shrink and like he starts to cry, like tears pour out of his eyes as he like drops the crossbow and kind of is like kind of trying to hide his face uh, from the sudden immense sunbeam uh, in his eyes. Uh, the um, the next two shots uh, come at you, but you're able to deflect them with your uh, with your shield. But uh, the last shot uh, catches you and deals. Let's see, eight damage. Which one did that? I need to know. Uh, <laughs> you need to know specifically. Let's let's call it this guy. Okay. That guy right there. I look right at him. And go, you little shit! <laughs> I'm coming for you right now. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, it is your turn, Ramus. Uh, Ramus is going to ten. Do I have to be behind? Can I be on right here? Like right. What? You wanna you wanna go for cover? If you hold yeah. down Alt, you can move yourself right here, Dan. I'm like right here. Is that cover? Yeah. Um, you need to be behind the like. It, it depends on their line of sight. Like that would be cover from anyone on this side, mm -hmm. but not uh, not these guys. Like this cover is a little tricky. Um, so yeah, it's like sort of partial cover depending on who's, uh, who's firing at you. Okay. Uh, all right. So yeah. So where, where you are, that would count as cover against the two on the left. Um, and, and against that guy, but not the, uh, I think far end. Actually, well, you got the, you got the tree there actually. So you're in, you're in three quarters cover from any angle uh, from there. Cause you got that log to drop down behind. Okay. And I'm going to cast, uh, Sacred Flame on the asshole that shot me. Okay. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll roll the damage, and I'll roll his. Uh... Okay. Okay. All right. So let's see his dexterity save. Uh, yes, he was able to save. So he. Uh, Dude, yeah, he we, out of the way. Everyone is just awful in this fight. <laughs> <laughs> so you yeah you, you conjure up your your radiance of the sun and uh you know a beam of light comes down from the sky and, and carves a burnt path across the stone he's hiding behind but uh but doesn't uh, doesn't hit him um all right let's do we'll do officer lynn's turn and then we'll uh and then we'll, we'll take a break so uh lynn is going to uh also fall back as his move uh, he falls back here um and then he is going to cast a spell um, I cast a spell on you. He's gonna bless. <laughs> he's gonna bless uh, three of his uh, three of his friends. Yeah, these three. So the blessing of his god uh, is now upon the three of them. Oh. So I'm gonna. I wonder what bless is. I wonder if uh, we'll ever. They have know. the power of Mormonism now. <laughs> yeah, they suddenly just conjure up magically a bunch of additional lives. <laughs> Just back at home, they just appear. Not just any know. wives, really friendly, family-oriented wives. <laughs> so he 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 falls back, and um, his his shouts of command uh, take on a uh, a supernatural tenor. Um, they take on the authority of his god, and uh, you can see um, sort of a, a phantom uh, glow uh, appear around these these three uh, these three officers, and they start to move with a um, a fluid grace they didn't have before. You can see their shakiness kind of fades. And they're they're filled with divine confidence, uh, and uh, they they get ready to fire uh, again. I don't like uh, that. <laughs> but before any of that happens, uh, we'll uh, we'll take a break and uh, come back and see what uh, what occurs. We'll see if I can kill anybody. We'll see. Yes. I have no idea. I guess I'm just gonna. Do we'll see what happens after this. Uh, I have no idea. It's all up. It's really all on Janice at this point in time. You got to hit those shots, and then we're just gonna I hide know behind some guns next time. Yeah. Or if, uh, or if Wester's just going to fucking run in the middle and be like, ha-ha, oh god, I'm dead. We'll see what happens. I considered it. I was smarter. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens after this. Don't go to our more. Court of Swords coming up right after the break. We'll see you guys in just a bit.